Hi everybody, welcome back to Sid's Modded Life, episode 198 with me, Sid. Yep, you heard me, 198. We are three episodes, including this one, from the end of the season. Um, and I just hit the wrong key. <laughs> so I have done some uh, inventory work. Let me just go and uh, I've tidy my inventory up a little bit. I've got some stuff and we are going to be taking said stuff and we are going to ooh, hello uh be breaking far too many blocks with that lovely so we started lighting up around the uh, jurassic land base area and and I ran out of glowstone, uh, and I don't intend for that to happen again. So I have now got this glowstone, and uh, I've also made a spare chisel. I've emptied my chisel and bits bags, because, again, getting close to the end of the season. Um, I'm not too desperately worried about that. Um, so the first thing we need to do is get out to Jurassic Land and uh, wherever, how, uh, no, Desert Spawner, uh, there we go, Jurassic World, sorry. Uh, you know what, I think I'm damned whatever I call it because if anybody decides to copyright claim on the, on the basis that I used a copyrighted name then, you know, I'm stuffed basically, so uh, anyway. I have got, or I should have, um, hmm, I thought I had, please don't tell me I haven't, oh, I've got to put it away somewhere, <laughs> alright, I'm going to go and grab that, I'll be back in a second, alright, now we have it, uh, oops, I need to go and find, uh, I have taken some blocks, so, Somewhere around here, one of these. No, nope, not you. Not I've got to find. Where are you? I were a chisely block. Where? Oh, there was. There's one. Okay. So we know, for example, that these are all spawnable. So what I want to do is I want to go around if we, if we don't know find the right thing get the journey map going to night mode you can see where we're lit and where we're not lit so i'd like to go around kind of all the way around the edge and just make this as spawn safe as possible maybe maybe like you know um a chunk or two away from all of the attractions especially these areas where you know they've got these these big expanses of just unfriendly terrain um, so that's my first job and it's it's not a hugely interesting job so I will get this done relatively quickly I'm not going to bother doing it on the other side of that because quite frankly what's the point you know there's nothing coming over from there so why bother um, and yeah, basically make this as much of a, well, I suppose I should do the other side of some bits of it. Um, yeah, but get this as spawn safe as possible. So I will get that done and I shall be back with you in a second. Lighting up the Allosaur enclosure is um, an exercise in fun. <laughs> uh, because this this guy's peckish for me um there's another one over there look at them they're just everywhere i've got a reasonably a reasonably large amount of the way around it's just uh this last last um corner there we go, that'll, uh, I think that has got that all lit. Uh, technically these are lit as well, uh, unlit as well, but I'm not going to worry too much. Anything that's stupid enough to fall into an enclosure full of allosaurs deserves to get at. 
Um, so yeah, we've, we've come all the way around to here and I'm just kind of hammering hammering these uh, the blocks down. I've used nearly a stack of glowstone blocks so far. Um, so not cheap, but again, I, we're, we're coming towards the end of a season. I don't desperately need to have vast quantities of glowstone left over the next two episodes. So uh, might as well do this proper, eh? Um, and, you know, just enjoy yourselves. I honestly, I know I've done this in vanilla, because obviously I used to play vanilla a lot. Um, but I honestly, I'm now trying to think, how did I ever cope with doing this with the F3 screen? Um, I mean, you know, it is, it's not enjoyable even with the overlay screen. So why, why is a game mechanic, we would ever think it was a, a good idea to have this as a feature in um, in vanilla where you have to go around and look at the light level at your feet and then every so often place a torch and of course you haven't got the advantage of hidden lighting in vanilla I think personally that is a oversight which they should really be uh, addressing sooner rather than later the the ability to the number of light sources that vanilla minecraft has is in my opinion inadequate they need to be more they need to be more discreet light sources um possibly completely hideable light sources you know um and i mean i i particularly like uh, the uh oh god i'm trying to think which mod it is that I've got it in Tech, in, uh, Tech Warfare, the one that allows me to create, combine a torch with a block and create a, a light lit version of that torch. I'll come back over there and get that a lot later. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to do this kind of semi-systematically. Um, I will probably fail, but you know, we'll do our best. And at least we will make sure that everything is nicely lit up uh, and done so yeah uh, in terms of where we've got to um, have a stop at the journey map you can see we've we've come around here I've lit up all of that I've lit up all the enclosures down here we need to probably just run around the edge of the here and just put some lights around here but I don't need to go mad um, because you don't walk around that bit so you know no possibilities of meeting a an upset creeper or something i've already met a couple of upset creepers on this on this particular exercise um i managed to get them before they got me so you know no harm done but yeah i'm going to continue on with this and i shall be back in a moment well we're further around uh, i just had one of those on messages you don't want to see so one of our mobs and things but look at this cheeky bugger Oi! <laughs> now I wasn't even aware that those guys could climb. They, I think he's far more likely. That's not the right compound. Oh no, these ones could, couldn't they? Because they, we saw that. I think it's farm. Oops. Hello. Let me just go and I don't think these guys are dangerous, but we'll. Uh, my flight ring just ran out, so we better wait to recharge yeah so we're getting there um we are almost all the way around now and uh, there's just a few compounds to do and a bit of things but i'm onto my second stack i'm about a third of the way through my second stack of uh, glowstone and yeah we are oh, hello we we're getting there but there's a lot, a lot. I'm not doing all of the hillsides and everything. That's, you know, we'll we'll cover all of, or as much as we can of this. Um, these seem relatively peaceful, actually. So even though he's got those massive great claws, I think isn't that the dinosaur that was 
The they called it the T Rex killer originally, and thinking that those things were like some it was some super predator, and then once they uh, got the skull out, they realised it wasn't predatory at all, and fairly certain that was a dinosaur. I actually can't remember to be honest, but I vaguely remember reading a report about it in the newspaper once, or what? Well, actually, not the newspaper; it would have been on on the web. Uh, I haven't read a newspaper in years. Uh, it amazes me how they actually still keep going, but um, they do. So, what can you say? Eh? Oh, these like little, little trumpeters, these guys aren't they? Like. Doo -doo -doo. Um, let me just recharge my battery. I suppose we should at some point go and just check. There's no more dinos running around out here because there could be. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with this lighting. Then we can put some. I'm going to put some taller trees all around the edge, and uh, we'll, we should be done. But I'll be back in a moment. Oh yeah, we've definitely had some escapes over the uh, time. Look, these are, what's it, Ferris, uh, a pharosaurus has got into the compi enclosure. Now, I think this is the pharaoh. No, that's the Gastornis. Okay, get back in there where you belong. I'll go grab the other. Uh, at least they haven't eaten the compies, which is, I suppose, a bonus. Although those little gits deserve everything they get because they're quite frankly they are just nasty little pieces of work. Um, luckily, the majority of this the compounds are already lit quite well. I've obviously done the uh, when I did these, I did these much better than I've done some of the later compounds. Um, just really a matter of running around the edge here. Just to get the right up, you know, um, the boundaries fully lit, and uh, over the top of the hill there, I think, and into the mammal enclosures, and uh, and lighting is done. Um, not the most, as I say, it's not the most expensive. Uh, well, certainly, it's not. I can't say it's not the most exciting thing in the world. It's not exciting at all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there is there's nothing on earth that would make this an exciting thing to do. But it just means that for my peace of mind and completionistness, um, uh, this will be done. Because this would have been a massive project. Um, so we'll get this done. Uh, as I say, I'm going to plant a whole load of trees around the place. And uh, that will be it. So I will see you once I've done that. That will be the last time I come back unless something else has managed to escape but you know back in a moment all right um i've been around i put quite a lot of foliage and trees in it was, it was messy um it's random uh however these guys keep escaping still and in there there's another escapee it is the last time he's going to escape <laughs> um I'm sorry, but let's see how you like your big cousins. I'm going to guess that they're going to eat him. I mean, he is, after all, a giant chicken. <laughs> But maybe they're not overly hungry right now. Uh, teach him to escape. Anyway, let's go and... Oh, wow. Was that an actual Allosaurus that managed to get me from like 16 billion feet away? Right. Let's go and have a look at what we've achieved over here. Because this has been a massive, massive project. Um, and as we're wrapping up, we, we are at the point of... In fact, what I am at the point of doing right now is um, trying to get a screenshot um, go with that that works right we'll have a quick sleep and we're gonna have a little tour of this this facility because this has been a massive project as you know um, it's taken me 
months. <laughs> um, what with and some of it is, you know, whimsical. Some of it is not brilliant. Some of it is okay. It's it's kind of a mix mixed bag. Um, as any project that takes this kind of time does can be uh, not does but can be let me just grab my sleeping bag there we go and so if we look at this from a journey map point of view we are completely illuminated except for maybe that bit there that could have probably bit could have been better everything should be more or less born free give or take you know bear in mind you know this is not perfect um and we started obviously over here with the uh, the i think we started with these guys off the top of my head this we expanded since then, and over in here we've got the Tiggers, um, and they they they're in there. But you come in, we've got the Tigers, and the, this is all the uh, mammals uh, at this point, and we've got the zebra thingies and the elephant thingies. I think what kind of elephant analog. Did a little bit of chisels and bits trying to get that kind of Jurassic Park thing. <laughs> yeah. And then you came through here. Now, I have got vehicles. I'm not going to drive around in them because my, my driving is terrible. Uh, I'm also going to turn off my magnet. Because when you get through here, obviously you're coming to the Jurassic Park uh, Visitor Center. And before we go over there, obviously the vehicles, we added a mod specifically for this and I never really used it much. But I, to be honest, I didn't like the mod. Um greatly but it, it added some nice models which worked well for this area um, the old thing this was kind of modeled off the off the off the film uh, video game you know the idea of this uh, this garage area um, around the visitor center we did all of this work now the visitor center I really did enjoy making this and we've got the Nautiluses in there and uh, is it was it just Nautiluses, Nautili? I think it is just Nautili in there. But then you get in here, and this is where the, the Jurassic craft, Jurassic archaeology mob, that's the one, really comes into its own. Because you start to get things like you get to build that in the middle, and you know you got all of this display and these these paintings and statues. It just really. Coupled with deco craft and also the wall lights and you know Malice's doors, we I think we really managed to capture the visitor center well. Um, getting that down, got the the restaurant area again, and you know kitchen all deco craft. Deco craft is spoiling me, and I don't know what I'm going to do next season without it until it updates. But I don't think it's going to be updating any time. Um, down here you had the uh, this is where we did all of our lab work and we uh, we built an infinite an infinite um, fossil machine um, had a great number of mis things but yeah got a lot of the the bay the various eggs and all sorts of stuff these these actually do need to be put away somewhere now um, because they don't really belong out here so yeah i mean i suppose i should should kind of tackle that particular job and uh, and then we can take that out and then again these all can be put away uh, and similarly these so so at the end of this season I will be doing a world download as per um, and the world download will also include a copy of all of the mods that I have in this pack now because this pack has kind of updated its uh, over time it's it's developed and consequently the the download on uh, forge is not quite the same as what I'm running right now um, part, part of that is because some of the mods that are we we actually put in here um, were were not always available they got taken off off of the old forge and 
and so I couldn't update the pack without removing some of the things and it, that, would, that would have been a bit of a pain from my point of view but yeah that was the the there and then obviously from the other side of the I don't know, I mean this there's bound to be there's some stuffing what was that saber tooth tiger skull there's, there's stuff everywhere <laughs> um, he says emptying opening a whole load of uninteresting things but the visitor centre itself also had the um, the other side of it, which was of course the cinema, um, and this obviously was where we had that um, DNA cl um, chromosome thing. Uh, and then you come through the cinema. Obviously, this is the visitor's idea was that they can have a look at these gar and things, but. They can see the scientists at work. Um, and then we ended up going through a long corridor. And the idea was that you, you could walk through here to get up to, uh, eventually, via this wonderful slime pad here, the viewing deck, which gave you a view of all of the dinosaurs from above. We've now, because now we put all of this in, it looks a lot more complete. Uh, oh, there you go. The Allosaurus did his job. Thank you, Ali. <laughs> um, and we've we've had a lot of problems with the dinosaurs. They've suffocated um, in walls. They've died. Um, I I'm down to my last Brachiosaur. But this gave us a lot of view up there. These guys didn't fly. They're supposed to fly. They're not flying. Um. But yeah, this has been a, a lot of fun to build. An awful lot of fun to build. Um, dodos. Uh, my actually personally one of my favourites, the little compies down there. They're, they're fast asleep because obviously they're uh, nocturnal, but the compies are great. Um, you wouldn't want to be a pig spawning in there. Um, but plenty of this lot. I don't know why some of these are massive and some of these are small, but plenty of these guys about and uh, the various um i think were terror birds and this is one of my favorite builds of the entire build this this was so much fun to make the uh the raptor enclosure they're all asleep right now um but we got that managed to get that kind of um, cow on there just so it looks like it's been craned in um obviously a vehicle and you can go in and the visitors can come in and view via here and see the raptors. Not much fun during the daytime, but there you go. Um, in fact, that's interesting because the raptors in the film were active in the daytime. If, if raptors are, are actually nocturnal, there's another inconsistency in the film there, even though they weren't velociraptors as well. They were, uh, was it the uh, Utah raptors or whatever they are? Um, lots of big dinos, trikes, uh, yeah, the trikes and the stags, uh, these guys, I can't remember whether these are carnivorous or not, over here I make a couple of, uh, a few, a few more actual dinos, these ones, the, uh, the dryosaur, I think it was, was it, hang on, the Gallimus, the giant chicken. We had about seven or eight in there, and now we're down to this fella here, which of course I can, you can ride. Um, I'm not going to, because. And then of course the as we moved on, and again this, as we move round, we're moving closer in time to now. We ended up with the uh, some of the fun ones. God, these were an absolute nightmare to to do. Uh, those not so bad. These not so bad. These old um, giant centipedes. Those guys, absolute nightmare. Went mad on us. And of course, we ended up with these guys over here. These were a deserty beast, so uh, went over. I can't remember what half of these are called. Um, Rexy Mark Two. After Rexy One managed to despawn or suffocate in a wall or something. There's a problem with these mods. The the mobs are not 
um, sensibly sized for the block so they can end up suffocating with the it's the same old first the fence glitch uh, more things and of course we end up with the aquatics with I mean it's seriously that is massive uh, these are big enough those are tiny the little nesses these guys massive these guys eh, not so massive tiny and big but again it was a really fun build uh, to build and without um, building gadgets this this would have been impossible um, because obviously we came down and we we were put in these massive areas put cafes in um, again another one of my favorite builds was the uh, the shop the the gift shop down here which was a suggestion that we have a gift shop so who am I to disregard those um, but you get the the amazing things that, that is massive and uh, I have to say it's been great fun to build this this was especially fun um, and then you carry on around and we came around to again even more I mean look at that log just look at that you really wouldn't want to argue with them would you um, Oops, thank you. And then you got round to, of course, our friend the Allosaurs, who uh, have just had a snack. So maybe they're feeling friendly. I doubt it. They're Allosaurs. Uh, I can't remember what these guys were called, but there was oh Spinosaurs. That was right. Um, again, carnivores. Uh, and then these were the little uh, spitters. I can't remember, again, can't remember what they're called, but they're quite cute actually. Most recently, the pterosaurs, or one of, fairly recently the pterosaurs, not necessarily most recently, but, and again that worked for the most part, the, they appear not to have all died, so that's always a bonus, and pchoing, oh wow that worked, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't certain whether it was, would work, but it definitely works as a means to get them airborne again if he want, ever wants to fly. I don't think he wants to. Um, and then finally, as the most recent ones, obviously we have these guys, the giant alligators, um, which are called... So yeah, them things. And the other raptors, the... Um, or the other raptor species, which are all... Oh, well, a couple of asleep over there, and those two are still spinning on the spot. Did they ever get round to eating those sheep? They didn't, they're still in there. Um, so yeah, this has been an, a really fun build, the entire thing. Um, and it's really nice when you can get a build that you, you can follow a theme through and, and do something with. And I'm not totally entirely sure how long I've been recording, so let me just check and I'll be back in a moment. And that takes us to just, just shy of 30 minutes, we're at 28 minutes. So that is really it for Jurassic World. Um, there really isn't a huge amount left to do here. Now, the next couple of episodes, I may do a little bit of building, but I think I'm going to do some more touring of the builds because we, we've done 200 episodes in this world, or we will have. Um, at, for the most part, two episodes a week, except for the most recent ones. So even at two episodes a week, that's nearly two years of, of, of play in this world and we've accomplished a lot so yeah join me and we'll start touring around the world and go and have a look at what we've been up to but until next time thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you soon bye for now